Well, today we're back at Clarence Park on a very wet Saturday morning, about two and a quarter hours after we left the park, which is at eight o'clock this Saturday. We were due to go to Torquay to face Truro City in National League South. We were shooting along the M4 nicely in, and the match got called off or well, waterlogged, which now we means now means we go to Truro on a Tuesday night, probably in January. Quite a daunting prospect. Yeah, disappointed, David. Obviously, um, you know it's not. It is probably the longest trip now we're going to have for the remainder of the season, but also going to Torquay sort of took four hours off the around trip, so disappointing from that side of it. I mean, obviously they've they're, they're probably guided by Torquay's rules and regulations, so we have to respect that side of it. Um, but at least they let us know as quickly as they can. As I say, we was it was, was an hour into our journey, making really good time as well. Um, but to obviously get the phone call is disappointing. Um, so we will have to do it in January um, and then it becomes sort of a 12 hour, probably a day, two days off for the players uh, in terms of, of planning and preparing and, and playing a game and coming home. So difficult but you know we're, we're in this league for these sort of things and uh, we have to respect the decision of the, the officials and the league and then uh, you know, make sure we get things right in terms of what we're going to do in the next, next game against Wolfstone. Right, we've got a little bit of plan news, starting with Tom Bender, he got an injury, foot injury on Tuesday, totally accidental collision, uh, I believe you've got an update on that. Yeah, he's, um, the, the news from the hospital is that he, he's definitely broken two toes, um, he's in a boot at the moment and they're saying that's anything from two to four weeks, um, but they can't tell the full extent of the injury because of the swelling around the bottom of the foot um, to whether he's, uh, he's broke or cracked or fractured a, a metatarsal. So, once the swelling, I think he's back next week. Once the swelling starts to go down, they'll they'll know more from a further X-ray, and we just you know hope and keep our fingers crossed that there's no more damage because uh, if it is a metatarsal, we're then looking at four to six weeks, and then as I've said before, if something has to be pinned, we're looking at ten weeks. So, it'd be a massive blow for us in terms of that um, because Tom's Tom's after a slow start in terms of a virus he had in, in the summer. He was really coming back and playing very very well. I felt and uh, had been a major part of us defensively over the last couple of weeks. And you've already brought in one player this week. You talked of uh, player changes during the week. You brought in Michael Clark from uh, National League side Braintree Town. Yeah, I mean it's something that we'd, we'd, we'd been looking at over the last couple of weeks. We'd, you know, we'd, we'd, we'd actually signed him after the game on Tuesday night, so it's not something we brought in um, because of obviously Tom's injury. It was always going to bring another defender in because I felt we we were lacking in terms of defenders. We've said it all the season. We haven't really got to grips with, with the defending in this league apart from when you know we had Richard Show Silver who was who was keeping clean sheets and scoring goals and then unfortunately he had the knee injury was going to keep him out for the rest of the season. Um, so I just felt we needed another defender. It was putting a lot of pressure on Lewis Knight and David De Hayju and Tom Bender. You know, we'd changed from a three to a four. Um, and even now as I said, you know, until we get the full full quantity of defenders in, you know, we've got to look at some games we might play over three, we might play at four, but I think we've got to take each game as it comes. Um, but certainly after after Tuesday night, it was a priority that we got Michael over the line. Jason Banton's loan period ended last week. He's gone back to Torquay United. Any more loan signings a possibility? Um, it's something we've got to obviously look at. Um, obviously going out of the the trophy and the FA Cup so quickly. You know, it's important I sit down with with the owners this week and see where we are in terms of you know their aspect for the rest of the season um, and what we need to do. Um, but as I said, in the league side of it, we, we're not in a poor position, we're in a, we're in a good position. We know we need to, to stop the goals going in, we need to get back to firing and scoring goals. Um, and we need to climb the table as quickly as we can, because at the moment you've seen it, there's probably 15, 16 teams in there that, that still feel they've got an opportunity of, of getting in that top, top eight or top seven by the end of the season. Um, and we've got to be one of them clubs, we know we've got to still keep believing in what we're trying to do. Disappointing losing to Weymouth on Tuesday night. And, we took a little bit longer to go over that in terms of our performance last Saturday in the second half where you think you just turn that corner and things are going to change um, but again we get back to a, to a performance for in the second half I think we were just huffing and puffing and you know maybe we're just not good enough in terms of the, the personnel we have right through the team here so we might have to look at where we are, what we have to do and what we have to do to try and improve the team because you know, we're not a million miles away, but you know, some of the performance over the last few weeks haven't been good enough, and, and the consistency hasn't been good enough this season. Certainly going to have to step it up next Saturday. Wheelstone are the visitors to Clarence Park, always uh, bring a noisy support with them. Uh, 
as you said, we have to raise our game for that one. It's going to be tough because uh, uh, Bobby Wilkinson has changed his style a little bit. They they probably are more of a physical side. Um, I watched them play Gloucester a couple of weeks ago, and, and they're very organised, very strong, powerful. Um, and and if you don't match that physicality, first and foremost, they'll they'll override you. They've been starting games very very sharp over the last few weeks, and I think you see last week against Concord, they were freeing up by half time. And they've done that a lot this year, and, and we've been very slow starters. So there's something we have to really work on this week, and we have to get in the, into the minds of the players that we've got to start better because we can't keep chasing games like we've done for all season. Really, the number of games we've turned them down at one stage and had to come back and, and win games. We've seen that at Chelmsford, we've seen it at Western Supermare. So, you know, we've got to start a lot sharper next week. We've got to have a, f a physical side to our game, um, but also have the, the the knowledge that we've got to try and play football at certain certain periods of that game. Because I think if we can do that and match their physicality, I think we can come out and win the game. But it's going to be an extremely tough game because, as I say, they're a good side this year and, and they've changed the way and the, the mould of their side has changed completely from where it was last year. Lovely. Thanks so much, Ian. So uh, we'll see you next Saturday. In the meantime, as Ian says, there, players training on Tuesday night. Let's hope uh, things dry out during the week. Yeah. When we entertain Wilstone next Saturday, 8th of December, National League South, kick-off at Clowns Park is at 3pm.